Hey, what is up guys? This is Tiro back with another quick video and today in this video I'm going to be explaining how to flash any ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Yes, I know I did a couple of videos in the past about it, but today I'm going to clear like I'm going to try to clear everything that I know about it. So let's start it from here. Which TWRP do you need to flash ROMs on the Redmi Note 7 Pro or Violet? You need the Peter's TWRP which is the 331-6. So that TWRP is important to flash any ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro or that TWRP is simply recommended. So if you ask me now like how do I flash ROMs on the Redmi Note 7 Pro? Well there are two methods or like two processes that you can follow. Well, you have to decide on yourself that what you need. You can go like encrypted or non-encrypted. So what do you need to do to go encrypted or what do you need to do to go non-encrypted? The first thing you have to remember, there are different ROMs and it depends on different ROMs. So let's guess that you want to flash Resurrection Remix or like the Pixel Experience. So those kind of ROMs supports encryption. And for them, you can use the like Peter's TWRP and you can use the same TWRP for everything over here. But like if you want all the ROMs to be working, you need to go to the different path, which is the non-encrypted way. So first of all, I am going to talk about the encrypted way and what is the cons and pros about it. So first of all, the pros about the encrypted method is whenever you want to like get into your storage or you flash a new ROM, you have to enter your pin or pattern. So once you enter your pin or pattern, then you can like go into your ROM or even recovery. So even the recovery asks for your pin, the screen unlocking pin or password. What is the cons you may ask? Well, the con is you can't use other ROMs like Havoc OS and Nitrogen OS or even Lineage OS when you are encrypted and your TWRP asks password. So whenever your TWRP asks password, if you try to flash ROMs like Havoc OS, Lineage OS or like the I missed Nitrogen OS. So if you try to flash them when you are encrypted, if you reboot, your TWRP will be like totally encrypted, but it won't ask you for your password. But otherwise it will show like the weird folders, the names will be weird and you have to format storage after that if you want to get totally decrypted. So these ROMs like the Nitrogen OS or like the Havoc OS or the Lineage OS supports total decryption. So these ROMs simply does not support that wrapped key or something like that. So that is how like you have to decide that which ROMs you need. If you need Pixel Experience or Resurrection Remix or ROMs like this, you can follow my channel if you want to get to like know about these ROMs. So if you want those simple ROMs, you can just stick with the encryption and if you're careful about your data, you can go like this encryption way and stick with Pixel Experience or Resurrection Remix, you will be totally fine. But if you want to flash Havoc OS, Nitrogen OS or Lineage OS, be it that way. So if you want these ROMs, you have to like format data once from your encryption. So once you flash the ROM like the Havoc OS when you are encrypted already, let me just guess you are encrypted already and your TWRP asks password. So right now what you need to do flash the Nitrogen OS or like Havoc OS whatever ROM and then flash the micro G apps if it needs that then reboot and it just will stuck in the boot loop. So now what you do you just reboot to your TWRP and see those weird folders and be happy about it. No, just format the storage now. So once you see those kind of weird folders into TWRP, so just format the storage now and it will be booting up fine in the like UI or like if you have flashed Havoc OS, it will be booting up fine in the Havoc OS. So that is what I'm just like gonna do right now and I'm gonna do a Havoc OS video pretty soon. But like, let me talk about it a little bit more. Now, from this like unencrypted or decrypted way, if you want to flash the, those kind of ROMs like Pixel Experience and stuff, like if you want to use those Resurrection Remix or Pixel Experience, what do you need to do? Right now, if you just flash the like Pixel Experience or Resurrection Remix, these kind of ROMs on this decrypted way, it won't boot into your ROM. It will just boot like loop in your TWRP recovery. Like it will boot back to a black screen and it will boot back to your recovery if you flash this kind of pixel experience from right now when your TWRP does not like ask password and you have access to the storage. So right now 
if you want to flash on this decrypted storage like those kind of roms like pixel experience i'm mentioning this again and again to make it clear from this decrypted way like if let's guess if you are on havoc os now if you want to flash pixel experience what do you need to do just boot into your to drive recovery it won't ask for password of course now flash your pixel experience or resurrection remix rom now flash the gapps if you need if you are flashing resurrection remix i'm guessing now flash the fcrypt disabler so after you have done that everything will be fine and your system will be booting up fine you won't have any kind of issues and with this decrypted way there is one con that your storage will be totally open so if anybody like gets access to your device and like tries to open TWRP recovery it won't ask them that guy for that password he can just like he or she can just like totally format the storage without like any access of your password on that device so that is a kind of a security flaw or something like that if you talk about like current encryption way but yeah that's how it is you get two ways so that was all like for this video guys thank you so much for watching it give it a thumbs up if you like this information and for many more awesome information like this please subscribe to the channel down there this is tito from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now